started his first two college games with a deep shot to Kenny Walker. He begins this one with a handoff to Perkins, who shot down by Sione Taki Taki. On third down, feeling pressure, steps up in the pocket and throws incomplete. Off of the hands. You saw that note there, off to a fantastic start. Just one touchdown allowed through two games. To screen to Adam Hine. And he's driven down to the ground after a gain of four. Stop made by Miles Jack. On second down, Mangum's rolling to the outside. Under pressure from Hollins across his body. And complete for a first down. That's Taryn Houck with a fresh set of downs from the 43. Tanner Mangum with three straight completions. And it's Mitchell Jurgens. They got a team loaded with these tall receivers. Mangum throws away from the pressure. Jurgens again stacked up. And we'll see where they spot him. First call run play has Adam Hine across the 25 with a solid pickup. Mangum throws for Matthews. And the 6'6 senior head. And so on third down and one. Straight ahead they go for a first down. On first down and goal. Ho Ching leads the way for Hide, who's into the end zone for a BYU touchdown. Paved the way for Adam Hine. And he does the rest. A little stiff arm, and it's in the end zone. And here's an onside kick that Michael Davis falls on, but was he in bounds? Initial ruling. The officials getting together and deciding that it's BYU football. And of course, they're going It's Jurgens. Bouncing off Goodman. And getting nine. Mangum throws short. Matthews pushed out of bounds to help him settle in. He'll throw on second down. Well protected. Pocket collapsing. He gets intercepted by Harvey Longy. All the big plays belonging to BYU. BYU takes over and Adam Hine explodes straight ahead. On second down. Underneath, it's Hauk, and he's got a first down. Rosen with time to scan the field and throws behind his intended receiver. Mangum on the roll, sets his feet over the middle and broken up. What? He'll throw on first down off his back foot, it's knocked down. Exotic looks to Rosen. All 11 men stand. Can Rosen diagnose? Well protected. Gets rid of it in the end zone and incomplete. It's fourth down. Kaimi Fairbairn has hit 33 in a row from 35 and in. That streak continues. First down and 15. Mangum started hot, has pulled off. There's that strong arm fighting Nick Kurtz. Past the 20, they get back the penalty. So, so Jamabo's first carry of the game goes for a loss as Manoa Picola brings him down. Rosen looking into pressure, tipped in the air, and picked off! Lungi gets his second one tonight. And BYU takes over in UCLA territory. Type of pressure Bronco Mendenhall likes to bring. Look at all the guys coming off the right side of the screen, able to get in Josh Rosen's face, and Harvey Longy able to get a hand up, catch the football for the pick. These are the types of big plays Bronco Mendenhall is able to orchestrate through confusion and exotic pressures. It's incredibly tough for even a senior quarterback, let alone a true freshman. Kurtz to the bottom with 6'5 Howell. Looking that way, it's Kurtz making a move on Johnson. And a first down inside the 25. But he slides it inside to make it a 10-3. Rosen sets his foot, throws!
is incomplete. Nakua had an interception right in his hands. Against a four-man rush, Mangum steps into his throw, and Blackman goes down to make the reception and a gain of eight. BYU hustles to the line of scrimmage. Downhill they go. Lungi gets stacked up, drives his feet forward for a first down. So first down from the 49. Mangum with all day to throw. It's Hine out of the backfield, and immediately Isako Savinaya drops him. On second down, nice throw to Colby Pearson. But Miles Jack was waiting. Miles Jack at the top of your screen. Let's see if they go up through that matchup. They run it with Hine, who crashes into the line of scrimmage. It will depend on the spot. The red line is unofficial. Screenplay. Blackman cuts back against the green. Devon Blackman with six on first down. The wide receivers. Mangum got rid of it. Kurtz couldn't hang on. And UCLA takes over on downs. Ten men stand for BYU. Pressure leaks through. Rosen running out of time. End zone picked off. Third interception of the first half belongs to Kai Nakua. An offensive line having its best performance so far, paving the way for that run game. Mangum off play action into a tight window for Mitch Matthews and a BYU first down. Second down and nine, BYU's opening possession of the second half. Mangum takes what the defense gives him. BYU is just two for nine on third down during the first half. On third and four against a four-man rush, there's a flag down as Jurgens has a first down and then some. There's a flag in the backfield as Jurgens high steps his way down to the 10. But what is the flag for? Holding, offense number 72, 10 yard penalty. Replay third down. It makes it third and 14. And now Matthews, with that in the back of his mind, false, false start. start. Offense number 72, five yard penalty. It, still third down. It's a bit of those mental games that, and he just finds the open space and plunges through. He's got great vision for a running back. You see it there. And he plunges into the end zone for the UCLA touchdown. The Bruins ride Perkins. First down throw for Mangum to the sideline for Kurtz. Most comfortable we've seen Tanner Mangum out of the pocket in his short time as the starter. Second and short, back-to-back -back throws. There's the 6'6", Mitch Matthews. And he's got a first down at the 41. Here's Hine with room off the left side. Hurdles his way inside the 35. 29-yard run. And Hine in this BYU up from the UCLA 31. Out of an empty set, UCLA brings four. Mangum throws the out. Taryn Houck, first down to the 20. They bring six. It's picked up. Mangum with time, throw to the end zone. Matthews for the touchdown. There is a flag around the three yard line. Holding of an eligible receiver. Defense number 30. The penalties decline. They twist up front and get pressure. And they knock it down. Rosen tried to get rid of it and threw it off. On second down, Hine with a hole off the left side. Got tripped up by Kenny Clark. Third down has been an issue tonight for the Cougars. Hine bounces off contact. He's got a first down and then some to the 40. Over 100 yards on the night. Predictable tonight. The running game clicking. First down from the 41 and out of an empty set. Hagan goes underneath to Matthews. Nate Carter, speaking of jump cuts, first down into UCLA territory. Kurtz for eight. Ball's playing catch up. The quarter begins 
with a second down run play. And Adam Hine over the right side of that line has a first down. It's his first incompletion of the second half. They get it in space to Jurgens. He's got five, making it a manageable third down. Miles Jack with this for a two score lead. Got it. You see BYU having to roll bodies in and out. Rosen floating, end zone, touchdown. It's Jordan Payton on a perfect throw from the freshman. Second down. Quick throw underneath. And this one is pulled in for a gain of five. Mangum extends the play and gets a first down. Great fill in the pocket from Tanner Mangum to extend the drive. They've converted one third down on this drive. They've converted another. Taryn Houck with a first down into UCLA. Mangum rolls, here comes Hollins, he got rid of it, first down. Matthews to the 31. Got rid of it in the nick of time for 14 yards and another. Mangum comes to his second read, it's Blackman near the sticks. Where do they spot it? With enough for a first down. How about Mangum getting through his progression? Hine not going to get it this time. Jayon Brown finished him off. Sava Inaya was there as well. And finally, UCLA able to put a stop to it. Field goal team coming out. And a six point BYU. Starks. BYU doesn't know what hit him. It was Nate Starks. It's a tie game. Mangum extending the play, throwing sideline and pulled in. Jurgens for a gain of 20 to the sideline again. Matthews for a first down to the 45. Second and nine, draw play. Hine spins his way free for a first down. Mangum rolling, throwing, picked off. Miles Jack slides to the turf. Talked about Miles Jack earlier in the broadcast, essentially being a nickel back, and he's the man to be able to step in front of Mitchell Jerk. The officials will step in there and make sure that this is all clean. That is the final play of this game. Somehow UCLA will win it 24-23.